Welcome back to my tarot cards. It's Jasmine. Um, today, today I have something real serious to talk to you about. This is about world predictions for twenty, the rest of twenty twenty four and twenty five. Um, about a month ago or so, I had made a world prediction video. It's still up. You can watch it if you need to. Um, where I predicted that uh, the a virus would come back in only this time. It would affect our skin, not not our lungs, but our skin. So, just last night, I received um, messages that in Africa, they already have a terrible outbreak of the monkeypox. Those are the blisters that you get all over your skin. Very contagious, and um, which can lead to your demise if you catch it. Um, right now, they're trying to contain it. It's in Kenya and Uganda, and then some bad, uh, some, some of it, they have some cases that are already spreading to the Democrat Republic of Congo. So the World Health Organization wants to declare an international emergency for this. They want to close the borders down so people can't cross back and forth from here to Africa. So we can kind of contain the virus over there. Um, they also want to deploy vaccines to the areas that have the highest cases of the monkeypox and see if they can try to contain it um, or else it, it will spread here. This, this um, virus spreads like wildfire, y'all, because there are blisters that pop and they have fluid in them and then those fluids get everywhere and you touch it and then you become contaminated. So, what I'm seeing is, when you come here, or if it, when and if it comes here, most likely you better wear gloves all the time because it's not something you breathe in, but it's something that you touch, and then it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. Um, this is what I saw in my last world prediction was a, and I did say it on the video, I said, because someone had asked me if the big C was coming back. I said, well, we're going to get a different virus. We're going to get something that affects the, the skin. And sure enough, this is what popped up last night. Um, yeah, I just, I was up last night with Spirit. They kept giving me messages. And not only that, messages of other things too, of other world events. I see the 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 energy shifting for the female candidate for presidency. But, you know, in my mind's eye, I still see Trump winning, but I do see that he will become underhanded and try to win that way. Um, I do see a lot of people supporting, is it Pamela? I'm, I'm not sure what her name is. Um, the one that's running for president. There'll be lots of people supporting her too. Excuse me, I'm tired, I just got off work. But I had to put this message out before it leaves me because Spirit puts it in my mind, and then if I don't put it out, it leaves me. It leaves my mind. Um, Y'all, don't forget this channel's branded. You do not have permission to copy it for any reason. If you want a person reading, contact me with the email down, or not the email, the phone number down below, and I'll text you back. Um, and you know the rest of the deal. Trolls, be out. I get tired of saying that, and then the same trolls keep coming back in here. Disrespectful, rude. So, I'm going to pull some cards, pull some cards, and see what else we got going on with this war. Um, yeah. All right, let's get started. So, I'm going to ask Spirit first about the mon monkey parks. Will it spread to the United States if it hasn't already show me show me the monkeypox was spread spread okay there's a lot of cards that fell here but I am seeing um I'm seeing depression lifting, depression, de depression um, moving away, and this is, I think, for the people over there. Once they get, um, 
either a vaccine or heal from or they develop something, they're going to be a lot better. But the thing is to contain it that way. There will be some people that pass away from that. Sorry to say that will pass away from this virus. It's very, very highly contagious. And... Yeah. Okay. Show me, will it spread to the United States? Spirit, will this spread to the United States? Show me this monkeypox. Will it spread to the United States? So right now, the government is at a crossroads. They're not knowing what to do because this is new to them. They're not... Um, some of them aren't realizing how serious this is. I'm seeing... I'm seeing the, uh, a lot of people are going to be ha having to gather their strength when they um, hear about this, and the government is going to manifest a lot. It's going to kind of be like the big C where you have to keep going and get vaccines. A lot of people don't want to do that. I know I don't. I don't know about you, but I don't. So, yeah. Also, um, I'm seeing something about a solar storm that's coming and now this may be something that we maybe can't see because it'll be so up in space that we would have to travel to it to see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing a lot of things. I'm sorry. I'm, Spirit's giving me so much information. I'm seeing that want to launch a um, rocket to another planet, but it... I'm seeing mechanical mechanical failure, mecha mechanical failure. I'm seeing a, a mechanic calling me or asking me advice or something like that for mechanical failure on the uh, airline. Yeah. Spirit is here, y'all, and um, giving me a lot of information, a lot of talk. And I'm here as well. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Spirit is in and out. So, again, show me, will this come to the United States? I do see that if it does come, that they will have money to help us, as with any shot that might need to be taken. Those of you that haven't even had the, the big C shot, I suggest that you get it, because um, it's going to lead you in a whole lot of trouble. I should have said, yeah. Okay, Spirit, you're confusing me. Okay. I, I don't see that if this, um, if this virus comes in that it will leave quickly. I don't see it leaving quickly. I do see a lot of people um, getting it, especially if newlyweds because you're getting together and you don't know the other person and you might, yeah, you might give it to each other. Um, when and if it comes here, I do believe the government will be successful in a uh, vaccine because they already have one developed. <coughs> Spirits here. <coughs> Spirits here. Um, they already have one developed that... Um, they've had success with and they've had victory with it and they've already spent a lot of money on it and that's the one they're going to deploy first to Africa um, I see that the first place that it might hit will be in the Dominican Republic um, Spirit is also saying that it's already in the Democrat Republic of Congo which is in Africa So they want to close the borders down to prevent more spread. Spirit, oh my God, you give me too much information, y'all. I can't. This is a lot. Um, I'm seeing that they're preparing. Spirit is, 
Spirit is telling me that they're preparing. I'm going to put the cards down, y'all. I'm just going to tell you what Spirit's telling me, okay? So, Spirit is telling me that they're preparing to send a ship, rocket ship, or whatever to up in space again. It's going to have mechanical failure. Um, I don't think that it will make it. I think that something will happen to it, and it won't make its destination. I hope and pray that I'm wrong. I don't know if it'll um, crash, but I do see that it'll have some type of mechanical failure. I see a solar storm coming. Um, yeah, there's a solar storm coming because there's a hole in the sun. Now, this is something we might not see because, you know, the sun's way up there, and by the time um, it lets out pieces of it, they diminish as, the, as it hits the oxygen, it burns up. Um, I'm seeing a great flood that will happen in uh, the East Coast that will come in to New York shore. And I'm seeing California sinking um, by inches as the water rises. China and Russia will merge together and start a war, a, a very aggressive for the United States, and they're going to um, speak of nuclear weapons which might spark World War III, and I think I've said this before in my other video, um, which will put the United States in a tremendous amount of fear, chaos, and, and um, yeah. I'm sorry, my fingertips are red because I've been painting, using oils to paint. It's a lot here, y'all. I'm putting the cards down because I'm just telling you what Spirit has given me. They're, they're filling my head with a lot of things. And I'm feeling a lot of emotions because every time they talk to me and they give me these visions, I feel the effects of what it can cause. So it makes me sometimes sick or feel, feel things that I don't want to feel. I don't like to feel. A lot of people think that this job is easy that I have. It's not. It's not an easy job. When I was a little girl, I was um, well aware of this because I would see a lot of things when I was little. And I used to see a lot of shadow figures. And I would tell my mom, I said, you know, I've been seeing things. And she would always tell me, you're, you're just psychic. You're psychic. I didn't know what that was when I was little. And she says, you'll be okay. You're just psychic. And when you get older, you know, we're going to help you with all that. And, you know, and then as I got older, they started teaching me the tarot, how to use my third eye, and how to speak with the spirits and stuff like that. There was always some some ritual going on at my house because my father is African American and Native American, and both of those sides practice these circles of fire, incantations, um with candles I learned candle work and then other types of magic I I I was born into this y'all wasn't this isn't something that I just picked up and said one day okay I'm going to do this this is no this is something that's I was born into because of who my family is also my mother is from Great Britain and Asian okay so I have four races in me okay I'm not Spanish I don't speak Spanish I mean I know some Spanish but I'm not I'm not Spanish a lot of people think that I'm Hispanic I'm not this is something that I was born into and this and this is I've been here several times and I don't like this sphere that I'm in I, People here are very vile to each other. They're mean to each other. And then they hate each other because of the color of their skin. And what is that word, spirit? What's that word that they use? Um, race. They, they hate each other. I'm not sure 
what Spirit's trying to say, but something about race. They hate each other because of race, whatever that means. Race. But I know that here they like to have wars and do things, bad things to each other. People aren't nice to each other here. They, they don't respect each other. You know, they use and abuse each other. So this is not a place that I ever want to come back to, 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 you know, give insight to people or anything like that. I do feel like if the female candidate wins or will lean towards more her winning, that Trump will come up with something to sabotage it. So he can come out the winner. And for you Trump lovers, I'm sorry. That's what I feel. That's what I see. Because I feel like he would do anything to have his position in power. I, I don't feel like he is for the people. I'm not with him and I'm not against him. But I want to tell you what I see. I don't feel like he's with the people. Genuinely care about the people. I feel like he just gathers as many people behind him as he can to show his power power of aggression he carries a five of sword energy five yeah five of sword energy power of aggression um right here it looks like he's falling are you gonna catch him yeah um I can hear my mother's voice for some reason. I hear my mother's voice. And she's telling me that... Um, she's telling me that I need to come where she's at. I need to come down where she's at. My mother is not here. She lives... You know, it's a quite a ways drive from here. Y'all get ready because... 2025 is not going to be what you expect. There's going to be a huge turnover in world events. I, I've urged you many, many times to find a personal relationship with God and do it quickly, very quickly, because we're, we're right there knocking on the door of the Great Tribulation. There'll be a lot of things that happen right, right before it happens. So be ready. I'm going to close this now, and then I'm going to come back with a real reading because I couldn't be in the energy of these cards right now because um, Spirit has given me too much to too uh, too much to handle in my mind. So I put the cards down just to speak of what they're saying to me, and then I'm going to come back and do a reading with the cards. I'm going to close. Um, at this point, I'm just warning you about the virus that's coming. It's going to be extremely, extremely contagious. You're going to have to be careful with the surfaces that you touch and then touching yourself or other people, especially your children. This is a virus that can disfigure your face. If you get it all on your face, it can disfigure your face. And then be careful with travel. I'm hearing, be careful with travel. I'm going to close, y'all. I'm going to close. Um, I will be back with a reading. All right. Thank you for coming. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.